Hello and welcome to the Detailed Review channel. Today I will be reviewing this Hillsdale counter table that I put together for my kitchen. I've been wanting a tall table rather than the typical shorter table. I just like taller furniture. So I found this on Bed Bath & Beyond. I purchased it online. I never saw it in person. I also could not find a review of it so I decided to do a review of me just um, showing what comes in the box and how to put it together and how easily it can be put together. As you can see it is a white table. It is very easy to clean. At the top you literally can just wipe it to clean it off. And as far as the dimensions, it measures 48 inches long, 24 inches wide, and 36 inches high. It is a wooden table. It's all wood. It's not plastic. And it is quite heavy. When I lifted it, just the top part, when I was putting it together, I could not believe it. It is very, very heavy but it's genuine wood and it definitely feels durable so i am about to put it together this is the box that it came in and i'm just trying to show you the dimension of the box so in case you're going to pick it up from the post office you would know how large it is and how big a car you would need to go pick it up this is everything that came in the box that's the manual laying on the side. I only got a few tools and um, I'm going to show them in a minute. Before you begin working on anything, you obviously want to lay something on the ground to protect what you're working on. Since the surface of the table was going to be on the ground, I decided to put a tarp down so that I don't scratch the surface. It's a very smooth surface. And I want to keep it that way so that's why I put the tarp on the ground. You also don't want to scratch your hardwood floors if you have smooth hardwood floors you want to protect that as well so hence the tarp. These are the directions they're pretty um well we'll see how easy they are <laughs> to follow as we begin working on it but yeah this is pretty much it just uh, maybe a couple pages long. So all the parts were clearly labeled from A to E. There were all legs anyway and like leg supporters. And then I had the tools. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but all the tools that I needed were included in the packaging, but I had to use my own screwdrivers. No hammers were need needed, which I liked because I don't like to use hammers. They're just very loud. So that is the tool that came with the came in the packaging. I wish I had a better picture. The hardware that came with it were 10 Allen bolts, 8 spring washers, 8 flat washers, 1 Allen wrench, 2 barrel nuts and 4 screws. And the manual does say that you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not included. So according to the directions, one of the side stretchers is supposed to go between two of the legs, one left leg and one right leg, which is what I'm trying to do here. And they provided screws to go, you know, to hold it together. The problem is I will as you will see later, the screws cannot hold it together. Like the way the holes were made between the um, the center, the I mean the side stretcher and the leg, the screw just sits in there. It doesn't actually screw in. As a matter of fact, the hole for the screw is so big that the entire screw can just sit in the hole so you don't actually have to screw it in, which means the screw 
don't hold very well i don't know why they made it that way i don't know why um how come they don't realize that that's a problem that this has but yeah the side stretcher is not very stable when you screw it into the table leg um it doesn't fall off or anything it actually holds but the screw doesn't actually screw in it just sits there so i guess it's a long screw so i guess the um the fact that you connect the screw from the side stretcher to the leg is enough to hold it in place but it doesn't screw in i think they need either bigger screws or they need i don't know they need something that will help it screw in this was the longest process during the assembly for me because it took me a while for me to realize that I was actually using the right screw and I was inserting it the right way. It's just the whole, the way it was made, that was the problem. But after I figured out that um, I was not going to get the super tight screw on that I was hoping for, I it, everything else went pretty smoothly after that. Well, almost everything. All right, so now that the side stretchers have been inserted into the left and right leg, I have just set the the stretcher, I mean the legs, into those spaces and they're standing up by itself and now I am going to screw them in. To do this, I'm just using the, um, the Allen bolts the spring washers and the flat washers. It's a pretty straightforward process as you can see. Okay so after I was done with those two legs it was now time for me to insert the other two legs and the center stretcher and this is the point where the directions got weird. I kept referring back to the manual to see if it will clarify things but it didn't and the problem is that the order that they want me to insert the center stretcher did not make sense according to the directions i'm supposed to um insert the center stretcher to the leg that's already up but if one end of the center stretcher attaches to that leg where would the other end of the leg be attached to? <laughs> would somebody be standing there holding it while I insert the other two legs and then insert the other end of the center stretcher? It just, it didn't make sense. So I decided to use my best judgment and stop following the order that the directions were written because the directions were confusing after this point. So what I did was I inserted the side stretchers to the other legs and then inserted the legs to the head of the table, the top of the table, and then I inserted the center stretchers to both side stretchers. So basically the center stretcher part was the last part that I did um, even though that's not the way it's written in the directions because I don't understand how the center stretcher can be suspended in the air while I attach the legs like the legs have to be attached before the center stretcher is attached another problem that I noticed with the um, attaching the center stretcher to the side stretchers is that sorry my voice keeps going in and out <clears throat> but um they did not specify what side of the side stretcher the center stretcher should be attached to the side stretcher that both of them there are two of them both of them have one hole on one side two holes on the other side the pictures did not clarify that and they did not show that i had to use my best judgment on that as well and i decided to attach it to the part with the two holes instead of the part with one hole and um, yeah they didn't indicate that so I actually had to remove one of the side stretches that I previously attached to the leg that's already up and turn it around so that the correct side with the hole is showing 
you know, like you have to kind of figure your way through this manual. This manual is too simple. It, there's a lot of things that it doesn't explain and it doesn't show. And yeah, just wanted to point that out. As you can see here, attaching the legs to the head of the table keeps the center stretchers in place because the center stretchers are inserted into spaces in the two legs. So when you attach the legs and the legs have to stay in place on the head, that kind of helps to keep the center stretch, I mean the side stretchers in place because it's not the screw that's keeping the side stretches in place that screw did not help at all it was still shaky it only stopped shaking after i attached the um the legs to the head of the table so i did loosen the legs a little bit to allow me attach the center stretcher and i was able to attach that So now I'm just tightening everything and I will be done. I don't know what those black ropes attached to the bottom of the table are, so I just left them there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I'll have to Google them. I don't know. Maybe it's something they attach to, uh, to help them carry the table and maybe I can just take those off. So I hit one last snag here. The hole that they made for this last screw was too small and I was unable to screw it in properly. So I was really fighting with it. I think it actually ruined my screwdriver. And um, yeah, I was able to attach it, but it didn't go all the way through. So it's not flush against the wood like the other screws are but it's sturdy and it's holding fine so i just i had to give up on that but yeah that's one other thing the the hole was too small at first the hole was too big for the side stretcher and now this hole is too small for the screw <sighs> they need to work on this a little bit more but overall it was successful and i was able to put it all together if you're wondering why I have a screwdriver inserted to the top, it's because I used a barrel nut and I'm trying to make sure that it's aligned properly so that the screw going in from the side can insert properly and screw tightly. Yay, I am done. And I'm just trying to stand the table up here. It's quite heavy, you can tell by the way I'm moving it. I am not a weak person, okay? And I really like the table. As you can see, it's quite sturdy. It's not shaky. It's very clean looking and you can wipe it clean to um, when you want to clean it. You don't have to do like any special thing. It's, it's just very easy to wipe clean. It has a very smooth, shiny surface. It doesn't hold on to stains. Um, the legs are the same way and it's just very clean. I also like the height a lot. That was the number one reason that made me purchase this. It's a very tall table. I think it's about 36 inches, if I remember correctly. It is pretty tall, which I love. This is what it looks like all put together. Really nice, straightforward, no fanfare. It's not shaky, it's very sturdy after all the drama we went through to put it together. <laughs> Let me just show the bottom. I still don't know what these ropes are for, so I don't know, I'll leave them on here for now. But yeah, this is what the bottom looks like. I screwed everything. That's the one screw that I couldn't screw in because the hole was too small. I had to give up on it but there are two screws on that side so the other one screwed in nicely
and this is real wood guys i really like that it's actual wood i think it's called canton wood how gorgeous is my table drop dead gorge <laughs> So that's it for putting together this video. I hope you guys um, learned something or I hope this was useful to you in helping you decide if you want it or not. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next one. Bye guys.